This morning I'm going to fix this garage door jam. The return wall was clipped by a vehicle leaving the garage. Knocked the trimmers off of the plate, which was not a huge deal because this is a gable end wall, not a bearing wall, so there's not a whole bunch of weight here. So what we're going to try to accomplish here is to take the weight off of this header, the end of this header over this garage door, enough to slide the bottom plate back up onto the stem wall. Now you can take a hydraulic jack and you can put a 4x4 under here and you can jack it up and that works great. But there's another trick that has all sorts of applications on the job site for lifting and holding, especially when you're by yourself. It's a method where one guy can lift a serious weight with a nail gun, can capture the load so it's perfectly stable, held in place, do the work that he needs to do, and then let the load back down with no muss, no fuss, nothing jumping out. You don't need another guy there to help you. The distance from the edge of the driveway slab which is fairly level, to that finished jam is 84 and a half inches. I'm going to use as a target 84 and three quarters as a distance that I would like this to come to rest when it is on the post, when it's in place, that will lift the bottom plate, the load off the bottom plate so I can slide it in where it goes. To do this, I'm going to cut three pieces. Two of them will add up to 84 and 3 quarters. Well, I want to keep track of these two. So I'm going to make sure that those stay in contact. I let the bottom piece of what of the two pieces that add, that add up to my net height extend below the arbitrary length piece perhaps an inch. I hope you can see that. This reduces the net increase in length that happens across the hypotenuse of a triangle. But it leaves the square end at the net distance. Now I take the piece that will add up to the total net height and I snipe the leading edge. I put it in place. I take the nail gun, which is not going to set this nail. I snipe the tailing edge. I put the bottom in position far enough away from the work that it won't be in my way once it's in place. I lean this out. There is the post action. See that? As that comes straight, it lifts in a serious way. So what we just did was use the leverage that is available in the last few degrees between an angled piece and the piece when it becomes straight creates a big mechanical advantage and it creates a situation where one guy can capture the load and hold it safely while he does the work. 